I love doing Sunday afternoon or evening walk in the park or stroll around town vlogs. I wasn't planning on doing a vlog right now considering that I just did a video of significance. I've actually done multiple videos today. I guess maybe you could say I've done several vlogs today, but I don't even have anything in mind that I'm going to discuss. But this setting with Ceausescu's palace in the background, albeit the sun is blocking it a bit, and the fountain, and the wide Romanian street. This one's not so much of a boulevard. Anyway, just fitting for me to talk into the camera. So what should we discuss on this Sunday afternoon evening edition of the vlog? Uh, it seems like every Sunday afternoon or evening over the past month, I have been wrapping up one heck of a week. I remember doing the vlog in Lviv where that was the bed bugs week coupled with almost no sleep. Otherwise, I remember the only nights, there were two nights that week, nice fountain shot in the background. There were some nice fountains on the Maidan in Kiev actually. I've got a little footage of that I never published. Yeah, so that week in Lviv, the only nights I slept in a bed. Can I carry the camera like this? I don't know why it's so hard to carry it the other way. Anyway, all kinds of stuff's going on. My pants are falling down. You're not seeing that though. Yeah, so that week, dodging leaves, dodging cars. That week in Lviv, the only two nights I slept in a bed, I got bed bugs. And back then I thought the bed bugs were gonna be the biggest hurdle of the of this excursion, the trip around Ukraine and the other stops in Eastern Europe. But uh no. It was like, oh I got bed bugs, who cares? Uh, that's basically my attitude at this point. Which I hope that's not a sign that it's gonna be a recurring theme in my life, but it's not something that really has me too flustered. I've had computer problems on this trip. That has certainly had me flustered. I, I haven't had major digestive problems, but it's always tough for me to be on the road, moving about, going to different places in order to stay on a, on a, some sort of structured diet that will actually keep me healthy uh, yeah but I've battled a whole bunch of things psyche this trip totally swung in a different direction than I was expecting it to go I wasn't really sure what I was up to when I headed out to Ukraine several weeks back I remember a bunch of people asking me and I just rattled off everything that interests me about Ukraine which includes the women. The women there are extraordinarily gorgeous and feminine. Me learning Russian. Me possibly doing some reporting. Oh, did that change? Um, what else? Oh, me traveling and seeing the country. Yeah, so I guess I was kind of sure that the focus of the trip would be more about Russian and dating and that was just not the case. The focus for better or worse was more about travel and reporting and then as I almost get run over then in the middle of the trip I'm sitting in my room in Kiev and up pops this business accelerator program advertisement and I thought about it, then kind of dropped the idea, went to sleep, woke up the next morning and realized I need to do this. And this is work intensive, combined with already traveling almost non-stop and in a sense working multiple jobs, doing near non-stop reporting, 
pretty busy. You throw in the business accelerator on top of that, and I'm even busier. It's kind of hard to focus on dating and mastering Russian, which I did not do so well, but I also have a certain peace of mind with which I'm going home or going back to Bulgaria, my home base, in that once I got rolling with this accelerator thing, and granted I'm still very still in the beginning stages, not very deep into it. But once I got started with this, I started seizing more opportunities. I talked about this in Kiev when I was walking away from Michalovsky Monastery after the interview with Archbishop. But see an opportunity, grab it, move on to the next one. If you so happen to miss one, move on and another opportunity will pop up. And while I haven't been doing a whole heck of a lot in terms of dating, which bugs me, that needs to change, I have been seizing a lot of opportunities in the second half of this trip. A lot of them are work-related, or maybe you'd say business-related, and if I do convert my work into a business uh, this could be something that or from which I reap rewards in other areas of my life we shall see but there are a lot of opportunities that lie ahead and I plan to snatch them for instance with Russian next month I'm heading back to the former Soviet Union I will Ooh, I haven't told anyone. Here it is. I am going to Kazakhstan next month. I'm supposed to be there for 10 days, but now I'm eyeing a brief stop in Kyrgyzstan as well, which means regardless of that, the, that 10-day period is going to be a Russian intensive period because from what I hear, they do not speak a whole lot of English over there in Central Asia. And I obviously don't speak their Turkic Turkic languages, but they speak Russian and I speak enough to just get by. So I'm gonna go full swing, presumably, with ratcheting up my Russian over a 10 day stretch next month. And as far as meeting girls go, whenever they pop up, I mean, they're, they're around me. I'm in the heart of Bucharest. Should just start talking to them. Like, here's one. Excuse me. Hello. Do you want to be in a vlog with me? She wasn't so interested. Uh, yeah, but you get the point. The opportunities are everywhere. I've already done a vlog about this. I don't need to ramble on about it. I guess for whatever reason, it's just fun for me to walk with the camera on a Sunday evening. And I think this is actually better suited for Sophia. I'm gonna start doing that if the weather isn't too bad when I'm back because I need a little change of pace when I'm in Sofia. My, my time in Sofia has got a little too regimented and I've kind of beaten the creativity out of myself when I'm back there. And I get back there tomorrow, granted only for a week, but I need to make the very most of this week. And with that, I'm going to leave you. Ciao.